What's up guys, Sparky Izzy here and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I troubleshot some arc fault breakers that were causing nuisance tripping. Okay guys, so in this house there was two dual function circuit breakers that were tripping. What that means is it combines both arc fault protection and GFCI protection into one circuit breaker. One of the circuits was located in the laundry room for the washer and the other circuit was located in the kitchen and it was feeding the countertop receptacles. First thing I did was remove all appliances from the receptacles and I used my GFCI tester to make sure that the power was off so that I could use my multimeter to check for faults on the circuits. Because from my experience with these arc fault breakers, a lot of the times they cause nuisance tripping simply because a ground and neutral are touching inside of a receptacle or a switch. But of course there's multiple ways an arc fault breaker can trip. Another common reason would be that a thunderstorm just happened and the surge damaged the electronics in the arc fault breaker. If that happens, I would recommend installing a surge protector on your main panel. So I'm gonna put my meter on continuity and see if there's a fault between any two wires. So here I'm reading that the neutral and ground are touching. I'm gonna check the other circuit the same way I check the kitchen receptacles. So at the main panel, I'm just gonna try to turn it on and just to demonstrate what it looks like when it trips right away during a fall. A neutral and ground that are touching will trip with an arc fault breaker, but it will not trip with a regular breaker. So back at the kitchen receptacles, I'm taking off the cover and I'm just inspecting the receptacle to make sure I don't see any neutrals and grounds touching since my meter confirmed that they were. I didn't see anything so I took off the receptacle to get a better look. I still didn't see anything so I used my meter just to confirm that the neutral and ground are still touching. The next step is to isolate the fault. This receptacle is the first device in line. So what I did is I disconnected the neutral that's feeding the other receptacles and I left the wire that's feeding this receptacle connected and I just wanted to see if the fault remained or if it cleared. And I found out the wire that's feeding this receptacle still has a ground to neutral fault, which is making me think it's the breaker and not a fault on a specific device. So what I did is I took the wires off of the breakers on the top right, the first three breakers, the first breaker was in working order, the second and third one were the ones that were tripping. By removing these wires, I can test the breaker without any wires connected to it and if it still trips, that indicates that the breaker is bad. As you can see, the breakers are faulty, so I went ahead and changed them out to brand new breakers and installed the surge protector to protect this house from surges and all the electronics that are in it, including these arc fault breakers. Just remember that every house is different. Obviously, I wish I would have checked the breakers first because I would have found the issue faster, but either way, I stuck to the basics and I ended up finding out the issue regardless. I really hope that this video can help at least one person because there's not a lot of videos out there that show a lot of troubleshooting techniques. So if you want to see more, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on that bell notification so you can see all my upcoming videos. Barky Izzy, peace.